Hey. What are you doing? I'm doing emails. Emails? I this, feel like, this place I feel is far like too nice to do emails. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, yeah. So it's called Capital Grill. It's in Legacy Village. And they have a $99 entree called the Grand Prix. Grand Plateau. Although what catches my eye is the main course, 10 ounce filet for 44, also expensive. I didn't order that, I already ate dinner. But I've got, what's this called? A grapefruit chuck? Grapefruit buck? It's I like think. a candle. She thinks it tastes like a candle. I think it's fantastic. It, it's I also like really grapefruit like grapefruit. Candle. Well, you don't like grapefruit. No, I like grapefruit. I don't like vodka. Oh, Unless see, I, I love water. vodka, so yeah, that works for me. Uh, we didn't think we were coming to somewhere this upscale, but we did. And yeah, next it's time for Crimson Let's Lids. fall in love. Why shouldn't we fall in love? Our hearts are made of it. Let's take a chance. You excited? Yep. Try it. How's your wine? Really good. I might actually finish it today. And we're going on, what, three hours? <laughs> that looks really good. Love creme brulee. Bueno? Yeah, this place was pretty stellar, actually. I had no idea that it was going to be so upscale. It's right next to the Cheesecake Factory here at Legacy. They had just built a brand new building in here about three or four or five years ago. And then it was here for two years, and then they tore it down and built this place in a very short amount of time. And um, I didn't have dinner. You just had salad, a glass of wine, I had two cocktails, and then we had creme brulee, but it was unbelievable. 12.40 and we're home. That was a fun night. So um, Nick came down today. We did the oil on his E39 M5. Uh, I don't think I filmed any of that, but kind of everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, starting with oil filter housing as I put the uh, thing on that to take the cap off the studs completely sheared right off You know those little rubber things that hold it onto the bracket that's mounted on the strut tower So that's broken free and nobody has those parts in stock. So we had to zip tie it um, And then the filter is supposed to stick into the cap, but there's a bunch of prongs in the cap that are broken so it doesn't work in there either. So the cap is loose from the filter. The filter is loose from the cap. Then underneath, the oil pan drain bolt was only hand tight. Took it off, let all the oil out, went to put it back in, and stripped. So they, you know they use an aluminum oil pan on the S62. It's lightweight. Well, that's great, but it isn't very strong. So now I put the bolt back in. It goes down hand tight, but it's, it's going to leak. And it's just not good. I mean, the right vibrations and that bolt falls out, and then you lose all your oil quite rapidly. So that's going to have to be remedied here uh, in the very near future. But we got it done. Uh, then I mowed two yards across the street. I didn't. I wasn't expecting on, on doing any, but I looked over there and they looked really shaggy. They actually were. So I did both of those. Then went up, picked Megan up at eight o'clock. We went to Legacy Village. Capital Grill was fantastic. Uh, very expensive. We didn't eat dinner in there. We just had a um, quick glass of wine slash cocktail and creme brulee and she had a salad. It was still the price of two nice meals anywhere else. Um, then we went back to her place for a little bit, hung out, and now I'm home. It's 12.40. So uh, as the day progresses on in its usual fashion, I'm going to feed Taco and go to bed. He actually cleaned his plate up pretty well this time. He must be hungry. And ready to play. Okay, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Tuesday night.